What we have today is as close as you're going to get to a new old stock M3. This is a 10-year-old 2008 BMW M3. It's only got 23,000 kilometers or around 13,500 miles. So whoever's owned this car hasn't been driving it. It's a Canadian car. It's had its whole life here in Canada. And with such low miles, it's in absolutely perfect condition. It's never been in an accident. I've had somebody emailing me asking, do you think that the E92, which is what the BMW internal code for this car is, is going to be collectible in the long run? Well, we'll have to wait and see, but if you're going to have a collectible car, it has to be A, the right condition, the right mileage, the right color, and this is certainly it. Plus, this is unique because it's got a manual transmission. So why is the E92 or this generation of M3 collectible? Well, what's under the hood is a normally aspirated V8 engine, no turbochargers. You might not know that the M3 before this had an inline six cylinder, the M3 and M4 that came after this had inline sixes and turbocharged. And this is also the last M3 that's available as a coupe. You might also know that after this, they went to M3 was the four door and M4 was the two door coupe or cabriolet. And I particularly like this era of car because it has an understated bruteness to it. It looks like a three series that's been hanging out of the gym. It's got bulges in all the right places. I love the front end, that sort of bull nose look. It's got the power dome on the hood with the vents there. Around the back, the spoiler is just ever so slight across the back of the trunk, and you've got the quad exhaust tip, so when you're behind this car, you know that it's something special. This car has 19-inch alloy wheels, and it is just in fantastic shape. I can't believe that I'm going to get a chance to drive a 10-year-old M3 with only 23,000 kilometers. So this E92 BMW M3 is a one-off for BMW, the only time they ever had a V8 in the M3. So when we go inside, we'll take it for a drive and I'll show you how this sort of is encapsulating an era where the interior was really just about driving and nothing else. Do you know how sometimes your memory can play tricks on you? You think something was great and then you go back and try it again and it's not so good. And then some things you thought were just okay and then you go back and try them again and they're freaking awesome. Well, this is the latter. I remember driving, actually the last time I drove this car was 10 years ago and it's brand new. I, for the most part, do new car reviews. So to go back and drive a car that is as close as you're going to get to brand new, but it's 10 years old, well, this is it. And my God, this is an amazing car. It has a simple interior that really is uh, driver oriented and it's going to basically get you focused on the job at hand. And God, people are just crappy drivers. You are a crappy driver. Brutal. <laughs> anyway, there's no iDrive, there's no screen, there's the radio. And it has, this particular one has uh, iPod integration as well. The steering wheel feels great in your hands. It's just a simple execution. It's the black with the uh, silver accents, the brushed aluminum, and just so simple. Back to a time when cars were just meant to be driven. They weren't for entertainment, except for driving, of course. So this car is really comfortable. The seats are heavily bolstered. They have a neat trick. They have a, a caddy that helps slide them forward and back to get people into the back seat. I would best describe this car as a very comfortable two plus two. You could easily put kids in this car. It's certainly bigger than a 911 and uh, has a very comfortable, as I mentioned, driver oriented cockpit. Now, I talked about the fact that this is a normally aspirated V8 engine and it's the last era of BMW with hydraulic power steering. And why does that matter? Well, when they switched to electric power steering, there was, in the early days anyway, a real vagueness to the feedback to the driver. But this car, you can, real, you can feel the nuances in the pavement. It's unbelievable, it's uncanny. And with these big 19 inch wheels, this car is absolutely a dream. Now, sometimes you get a used high performance car and you get into it and you can tell it has been beaten on. It's loose, the steering is loose, the suspension is loose, the transmission doesn't feel right, the clutch uptake is sloppy. Not this thing. This is like a Swiss watch. This thing drives as close as you would get to a new old stock 2008 M3. Now let's talk about this 4 liter V8. 
414 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque, but this is a high revving engine. Peak horsepower comes on at almost eight and a half thousand RPM. Just think about that. That is quite an engine. And peak torque at around 4,000 RPM, 3,800 RPM. So this is an engine that loves to be driven hard, that likes to be revved out, and it's amazing that it's coming from a V8. Typically, those kinds of numbers come from much smaller displacement engines. And the other thing is, the modern M3 and M4, they have an artificial sound. They actually pump through the stereo. This sound system is all engine. This is the real deal. And it's got this beautiful mechanical raspiness to it that you just let wind out. And there's 7,000 RPM. That's just... It's just pure precision. So there you go, a blast from the past 2008. This car, as I mentioned, this one's only got 23,000 kilometers, about 13 and a half thousand miles. So it hasn't been driven, and boy, it sure shows it when you drive it. As I mentioned, your memory plays tricks on you. You kind of remember what a car was like, but then you get back into it, and this was a nice surprise. You know what this shows me? That advancements in automotive technology some of them are fantastic, but some of them aren't as good. Like, I love this simple approach to this car. I love the hydraulic steering and the engine just as a tour de force. If you want to find out more about this specific car, go to my website, motormouth.ca, and you'll see Zach's picks. Click on the picture of the M3, and you can find out more about it. So there you go. Check it out, motormouth.ca, to find out more about this particular car. A 2008 M3 E92. Cool car.